Provincial leaders are meeting in Halifax out in Nova Scotia. The premiers have all agreed to buy three to five generic drugs. It's an attempt to try and lower health care costs, which of course we know are spiraling uh, out of control in some cases. The premiers have released a report at their meeting in Halifax. It lists ways of saving health care money while delivering services that everyone hopes will be more efficient. Saskatchewan's Premier Brad Wall, who co-wrote the report, and Premier Robert Giz of Prince Edward Island, they both say the drugs will be bought in bulk and will be identified in the fall. And we are now joined by both of those Premiers uh, from Prince Edward Island and from Saskatchewan, who are in Halifax today for this Council of the Federation meeting. Uh, Premier Giz, let's start with you. Lots of focus on containing costs of health care across this country. How does this report address that, that challenge? I think uh, what the report does is shows that uh, the 13 specific uh, jurisdictions in our country that are delivering health care, uh, along with uh, health care professionals like our doctors and nurses, are able to work together to find some common ground uh, so that we can deliver uh, a more efficient, uh, safe and sustainable health care system. Whether or not we're talking about the clinical practice guidelines, uh, looking at more team-based care, human resources, bulk buying, uh, this is uh, a new initiative uh, that we believe is going to de deliver better health care uh, and hopefully at the same time uh, allow us to uh, save some dollars in certain areas so that we can invest them uh, in areas where there's a higher demand. Yeah, speaking of, of that issue, saving money, uh, Premier Wall, maybe you can just expand on this, this agreement to buy generic drugs in bulk and, and what that will do uh, for Canadians across the country. Well, first of all, actually, the, motivate, the main motivation behind the work of uh, all the health ministers uh, uh, to Premier Giz and I had the honor of, of chairing was not about saving money. Uh, we wanted to see uh, recommendations that bent the cost curve, but the first priority was to do it in a way that improved care. That's obviously true when you're getting together on... Uh, the money piece is important when you're getting together on generic drugs. We know that of 64 generic drugs uh, that we've surveyed uh, in the province, we're paying 90% more than the Americans pay. Uh, generic drugs in our province, many of them are 35% of a brand cost, of a brand drug cost. We'd like to drive that lower. And we can do that through bulk purchases. That's part of it. Um, but some of the other initiatives and specific recommendations in the report were is going to uh, will improve the health of Canadians. We looked at chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes, and I can tell you we we found uh, through the survey of the country uh, clinical practice guidelines that can reduce the number of amputations as a result of foot ulcers for those who have diabetes uh, by 80 percent. Eighty percent of those amputations, those surgeries today are unnecessary. Uh, we can deal with that and we will now. Thirty percent of the hospitalizations related to those same ulcers are unnecessary if we if we adopt these uh, guidelines. So this is a comprehensive report. It's a start. We've had six months to get this job done. That's all the premiers of the, of the rest of the provinces gave us. <laughs> and now they've asked Premier Giz and I to continue the work. And I think you're going to see more uh, produced from that effort. Right. And Premier Giz, maybe you can weigh in here on, on the reaction from your provincial counterparts, how they responded to some of the recommendations in this report that you both have worked on. Well, you know, very positively, uh, you know, we're all dealing with the same issues across the country. Uh, we've got aging populations. We've got more demands on our uh, health care system. Uh, there's new technologies, new medications uh, being provided every day. Uh, we know the, where the federal government stands. Uh, they uh, are lowering down uh, their, their uh, contributions to the healthcare system. So we're looking at ways for us to cooperate uh, more together. Uh, another area that we're going to cooperate together on is around health human resources. Uh, you know, it's an interesting stat that over the last 10 years, there's been a 79% increase in the in number of pediatricians that have trained in our country. At the same time, it's been stagnant uh, in terms of the amount of uh, doctors that we've been training to deal with the elderly. And we know we have an aging population. So by working together with our health care professionals, with the provinces, with the different universities, we hope that we're going to be able to uh, provide uh, the supply out there for the uh, demand that's going to exist into the future. Uh, late last week, we talked to uh, Daryl Dexter, of course, who's the Premier of Nova Scotia, hosting uh, this conference that you are all at. I'm curious, uh, Premier Wall, if you could describe the level of support you've received from the federal government on this initiative, because this has been a bit of a, a sticky point here about the federal government's involvement or lack thereof uh, in these sorts of conferences and these initiatives. Well, I actually, I think the federal health minister is in Halifax today talking about innovation in health care. Uh, so, no, I think there's actually an interest on the part of the federal government in terms of what we're doing. Remember, the genesis for this was you know, the, the, the 
announcement by the federal government regarding funding that uh, that basically happened right at the outset of our last meeting six months ago in uh, British Columbia. And that's when premiers just decided, look, we Canadians want results. They want to see innovation in healthcare that improves care. They want to see it sustainable. They want to ban the cost curve. And whether or not the feds are in or out, we are going to work hard to get that job done. That's what the premiers have asked us to do. Uh, and uh, by the way, the Canada's nurses and doctors, the CMA and the CNA and, and HEAL, uh, they bought in in a big way. They were at that table providing us the evidence-based opportunities that we're now recommending. Uh, and so, you know, if the feds uh, are interested, I guess they can call. But in the meantime, we're going to press ahead uh, with this good work. Premier Robert Giz of Prince Edward Island and Premier Brad Wall of Saskatchewan joining us from Halifax. Uh, thanks to both of you for making time for us today. Thank you, Todd. Thank you.